Hello again, and on Pebble Mill today, one of the great stories of the universe, the beginning of creation. <coughs> we'll also be meeting, among our other guests, Dr. David Devlin. You're half tall, aren't you? Hey, I thought I was tall till I fell what down. Are you, what are you doing back there? What are you doing? Hairy's about your size, it's twice. It's, well, he's got hairier it's legs than me. Has he? Well, they're fatter. You sure? Well, you don't want to show him, you? you don't want to show him, but someone look. Yeah. Oh, yes! That works! <laughs> and you can't see the join? It's all happening. <laughs> we'll also be meeting Eric Morecambe, ladies and gentlemen, but we begin by joining Jonathan. Well, over the centuries, this country has inspired many great writers. William Shakespeare, Sir Walter Scott, who wove the legends and ballons of the border country into a tapestry of adventure and romance. Thomas Hardy, who recreated with marvellous lyricism the haunting beauty of the Dorset countryside. Graham Greene, Arnold Bennett, John Osborne, Ernie Wise. Of them all, perhaps the most memorable, the most unforgettable is Mr. Wise, probably because it's impossible to read one of his plays without being overcome, partly with nausea, partly with admiration for his nerve. I think I ponder. Yeah. Right in the opening for the show. Most difficult part to write, you know. Got every confidence in you. Any second now, a Niagara of words will cascade from your pen onto the virgin pages of that two and a half P exercise book. <laughs> That's true. The days when I used to panic are over. Yeah. Now I know I'm good. Show me a man who says you're not. I'll show you a fool. I couldn't. Of course you couldn't. Says here, the lifespan of a hamster is 18 months. Oh? Huh? So you haven't done bad then, have you? <laughs> Well, now, Mr. Wise, the writer, has been overtaken by an astonishing new talent on the British literary scene, a novel, a real one this time, Mr. Lonely, written by the other half of that marvellous comedy team, Eric Walker. Ah, that's very nice. The only thing that worries me here, Eric, is the, is, is, is the little bit the of the small print which says, you know, oh. it says, ghosted by Barbara Cartland. Ah, yes, well, there's only a few of us left. <laughs> but you've... You've chosen a subject that you know very well indeed, which is... You've, First you've, book, I yeah. think, yeah, you've got to play safe. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, your central character is a comedian, although you've made sure he's a cockney comedian, so That's he doesn't right. come from exactly the same background as you. Uh, is no. that deliberate? Uh, yes. Uh, when I started to write the book, I thought, well, everybody will think it's me. Doesn't matter what he does, everybody will think it's me. Yeah. And I thought, well, I'll play safe and make him a London uh, comedian. But what I, I have. what I liked about it, I'm, I mean, he goes from rags to riches in a sense that he becomes a big TV star, he's off to Las Vegas and whatnot. What I found interesting about it, though, was the parts where he was in the clubs, you know, the club scene, because you get that feeling of what goes on behind the scenes, you know, the, yeah. the, the, the tough business of having to play to that kind of an audience. It is and, tough. And you must have Almost uh, as tough as it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tougher. Not, not, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it is. It's, uh, it, uh, you know, I feel sorry. Ernie and I have only ever really worked about six or seven clubs. And uh, because we're basically music hall and TV. And the clubs we never really enjoy because uh, it's a different style, a different type of audience. And you've got to be much tougher and much harder, I feel. Yeah. And the comics, you see, the, the, the one I'm writing about, a la Sid Lewis, uh, he's the, the one that has to do all the preparing. For the, for the star at the end. And here he is now, you know. But he's done, before that, he's probably done about three to four, 10 to 15 minute spots. And he's got all the presentations to do with the flowers and the engagements of the 21sts yeah. and all that kind of yeah. thing. And it's difficult. It's, it's a tough it, job. It ain't easy. Yeah. You come off like that, hello. Oh, yeah, you know. yeah. All relaxed. <laughs> Because we, we use, uh, on another show that I work on, we use a warm-up comedian. You don't work on another show, do you? Well, I don't. Good gosh. Yeah. I, I never realised that. I wouldn't actually call it work, but at least they'd tell me for it. I but wouldn't call it another show, but what <laughs> <laughs> We use uh, a warm-up comedian. I, sometimes I feel sorry for him, you know, because uh, the, the show can be delayed by about oh. 20 minutes, and they'll say, go out there and oh, keep him going for another 20 minutes. So, and he's got no material. I he know. just has to mm -hmm. work off the top yeah. of his head. I know he feels. We, we have, uh, when we do our shows, you know, we have a, a, a fellow who uh, warms for us, you know. Yeah. And uh, sometimes we've got long changes in between. Or the guest star, the woman guest star, like somebody like, well, Hannah Gordon or anybody, wants her hair done, you know. Yeah. And they're maybe in makeup for 10 or 15 minutes getting their hair done. And that fellow, poor, he's got to go out there and he's got to talk. Yes, I bet his heart sinks down to his boots when oh, they say, yeah. Anna Gordon's still in the makeup yes, room. Right? Yes, yes. But what led you to, to, to write it? I mean, was it the, the heart attack that led to it? Uh, well, the, the fact that I survived it did, yes. Yes, yes it would have been said. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have been so good. No, no, you wouldn't have seen the print so well. But the, um, 
As far as I'm concerned, what happened was that I was getting better, I was recuperating, you see, and I yeah. thought, well, I've got to do something because I can't just sit there and, and do nothing and hear myself getting well. So I said, I said to the wife, you know, I'm going to write the book. I like, oh, wife, she said, oh, yes, and I, that was it. That was the challenge, and I did it. And there's nobody more surprised than the wife. I was going to ask, surprised I didn't give you another heart attack. Because no, 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 I no, it's all right now, because the wife left me. Yeah. So I was all right. <laughs> <laughs> but just let me show, um, uh, I, I want to show something. I'm, I'm going to show the, oh, the cupboard again. Oh, this will be interesting. It's the just book. A, that you actually use, uh, you, you, the whole production job kind of gives the impression, the illusion that, that he's a real person. Well, we, yes. That, well, first, I'm, just, I'm showing the viewers the, mm. the cupboard because I want them to look at their, yes. there he is, that's Sid Lewis there, yes. shaking hands with, with, with Eric. But look at this picture here, if we may, which comes from an inside the book, which yes. is supposed to be Sid Lewis on his wedding day. Now, he, he didn't exist. I mean, you made him up. Who are all those people there? Well, that one with the glasses is me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the other people are connected with the book, funnily enough. There's, uh, there's Jan, the lady, there's Amelia, yeah. the girl. So they're from the publishers, in fact. Uh, yes. But they're supposed to be members of Sid's family. Presumably. That's right, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that is Sid, who plays a man called Charlton Lamb. Mm. It sounds like, uh, you know, you go into a restaurant and you say, I'll have lamb, and he says, do you want it roast or Charlton? And <laughs> well, that's his name, Charlton. <laughs> Very athletic. That's that was like a joke. Is, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, you were actually... I'm glad it wasn't in the book. <laughs> <laughs> But you were actually interrupted in the writing of it because you had to have this. Oh, the operation. operation! Yes, well, yeah. half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. At all. <laughs> well, <you know. laughs> it was an incredible yes, operation, I, though, wasn't it? Funny enough, I, I had the, the uh, you know the um, uh, the bypass, and um, what's that noise? That's yeah. they're playing our song. Oh, was it? Yeah. I thought it was Sean yeah. Taylor going on for his lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <laughs> what happened was I, I had the. Uh, the bypass, and I had to have three months off yeah. afterwards. You see, because I couldn't concentrate. They, t they said I wouldn't be able to. What, three months doing absolutely nothing? Yes, more or less, yeah. more or less three yeah. months. And, and, and then after, well, one morning I got up and I could concentrate, it was as simple as and that. So and off you went again. Yes. Um, the, the, the other curious thing is that you've, you, you write dialogue very well, and that, obviously that's from writing scripts, Sketches, I would imagine. Yes, that's right, yes. But you, you're able, you space out the gags in a more leisurely way here. Well, you can with books. Yeah. You see, when you're writing a, let's say, a four-minute or five-minute sketch, you want to try and fill it, if you can, you know, with, with all the big laughs and the movements and the funny bits and pieces. You know, now, in a book, of course, you, you only need, let's say, two good laughs a chapter really, mm. if you can get that. I try for a few more, because it's all based on fear. And <laughs> <laughs> what I try to do is to, to keep you amused and give you two good laughs. But in a sketch, it's, you've got to... Keep them coming. Bang, 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 yeah. bang, yes. If you can. Yeah, now, I, I almost hesitate to, to give away the ending, but I think it's not so important. I just want to say that Sid does, sadly, in fact, die at the end. In, yes. a, in a rather... Well, it was important to Sid. Yes, yes it was important. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he died, because they buried him. <laughs> Particularly. <laughs> it means he can't have another book. He can't have another book, yeah. no, no. Uh, but he, he died in a, in, a, in a rather ludicrous way. Oh, yeah. He, he was drunk, and, uh, and, and, the, and, and after he was, he was lying there, everybody thought he was still drunk. That's right. I, I just wondered whether there was a, a parallel with, with your own experience <laughs> when you had the heart attack. No, 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 not really, no. You, I, no, no you, I, you've ruined my question. I'm sorry, <laughs> you've got a question, I didn't realise. <laughs> no, I thought a, I was working that, you with my foot. <laughs> <laughs> So I just wondered whether someone said, uh, I read this somewhere, otherwise I would never have launched into it, that in fact people thought you were just clowning around when you, were, uh, when you had the heart attack. Is that not true? Or were, were you oh, no. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, if you haven't, you don't clown around with a heart attack. I bet you don't. No, you don't. You know, it, uh, you get, uh, I phone the wife, wherever I am, and have one, I say, darling, I've got another one coming on. <laughs> and then she phones for the ambulance. Yeah. I was in Aberdeen on the last one, a hell of a trip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I think I had three, but I don't drink anymore, you see. I don't drink now. Yeah. No. What, since the attack? Or yeah. was that no, since I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, not since the attack. I looked down one day. I got the high pregnancy. I thought, that's it. <laughs> you know? Now I started to put too much weight. Mm. And I, I, I gave up drink. I haven't had a drink now for 12 months. Yeah. Is this just, oh, almost a year. Do, do, I'm just going back to the books, is this just, are you, is this just one, one of a run, or are you, are you planning something else? Oh, I've got another one in, in, the, uh, in the pipeline, yes. So you're writing now? Yes, it's show and, and, business again. And I think I'm right in saying that, that, that both uh, Ernie and yourself are working on an autobiography. Is that yes, true? yes, that comes out in September. Now, is it, is it, are you writing it yourself, or is it someone else? Well, we've already done it. We've, we've uh, actually taped it. Ernie and I taped all the experiences, you know, from to, yeah. and uh, somebody else has written it. 
And what about the what about the series, the show itself? Is that, We're doing is that, that as well. Yes. And, and you're working on that now. Yes. And when would you like to see that on the screen? Uh, October. Well, I look forward to that, and uh, and good luck with the book. That's very good. And uh, Eric Morgan, thank you very much. Thank you. Here. Lovely. Take care. Hello again, and on Pepper Mill today, one of the great stories of the universe, the beginning of creation. We'll also be meeting, among our other guests, <laughs> Dr. David Devlin. You're half tall, aren't you? Hey, I thought I was tall until I fell what down. Are you, what are you doing back there? What are you doing? Ernie's about your size, twice.